We begin tonight in Worcester where DPW crews had to battle a major water main break. They say an old pipe may be to blame for the geyser. It caused a major traffic delay as exit 14 was closed and drivers looked on. Water gushes more than 40 feet into the air Tuesday, sending chunks of pavement and debris everywhere. I mean, if you look at the, the street, see how many rocks there are and there's not a broken window. So we're lucky it went in the opposite direction. Paul Giorgio owns the building just feet from the break on Winter Street. He says he had just left for the day and got a call saying he needed to get back quickly. And one of my friends called me and said, do you know what's going on at your building? And I said, well, since I just left, nothing. So what do you want? And he says, no, go back. Told me what was going on, sent me a picture. The break happened around noon. Police closed roads and the geyser created a traffic backup on 290. The water pressure also left behind a large hole on the street. It was uh, pretty amazing how much water pressure there is. Probably half an hour of, of flow before they got shut off. They had to shut off the main at both ends of the street. And they, I said they said they're going to keep it off until we fix that. David Green works at Picado Restaurant. He says they were closed for the 4th of July holiday, and thankfully there wasn't any damage inside. The basement's dry. Um, we feel lucky, I guess, just have to pay to get the pipe fixed and then reopen. DPW crews work to shut down the water. They say old age likely caused the pipe to burst. From what they said, it might be a quick fix. And it's unclear how the surrounding businesses will be affected and if they'll be open tomorrow. But Bacato says they have a contractor coming out to look.